All right, so I'm really excited about this analysis right here. If you don't know um, who this man is, you must be brand new to dunking or you just haven't done your homework. We're talking and we're taking a look here at T-Dub, Terry Cornier. Um, in my opinion, probably one of the most underrated leapers of all time. Doesn't get talked about a lot. I know he kind of uh, went off the radar for a little bit, but this is going to be a really cool look at uh, a couple of his jumps. Now, what I'll do here is just kind of, we'll, we'll kind of fast forward. Uh, we'll find one that works. So let's start right away. Now, T-Dub 5'9", shorter guy, um, extremely powerful. Let's watch this in full speed, and then let's break down some of these positions. Okay, let's start with, I'm only laughing because this is one of my favorite dunk videos of all time. Um, so I'm, I'm breaking this down, one, as a, as a coach and a coach's eye, two, as a, as a former dunk colleague, and, and thirdly, as a huge freaking fan. So that's the, I just want to get that out of the way. So let's take a look. Out of the gate, right out of the gate, boom, we're creating speed. So T-Dub was notoriously talented at um, creating acceleration through his jump, one of the faster approaches um, on the dunk circuit. Now we're going to take a look at here. So he's getting in and we're setting up this penultimate. So we're starting, and it, I mean, the, the amount of speed already into this stride is, is just phenomenal here. We're loading up that that um, toe off of our, of our penultimate here as he transitions through. Let's pay attention to some of the things that we've talked about over and over again. Boom. Let's clear this big, strong push, horizontal push. What else are we taking a look at here? You guys can see he's doing a pretty good job. Now, T-Dub is a, is a powerful, strong guy. So while he doesn't have a straight vertical torso through this penultimate, it's relatively upright, which means that as he approaches and, and starts to amortize this right foot plant, he is quick to recover that torso, meaning to getting that torso back to a position where we look very, very stacked through that right shoulder, right hip, right ankle. Let's clear this out, kind of rewind it back a little. Let's pay attention to his block. So there's his plant. We're sinking into that right hip. He's loaded up. He's not extremely low. He's fairly low into that right hip. He's a powerful guy, but he is much more catered toward the utilization of velocity and speed, as you can tell by the quick application of the block. But his block, because of the amount of speed he has, is a little bit further away from his midline than some of the other jumpers we've taken a look at here. But this is doing a couple things. Obviously, one is providing a break and then a really nice line of action into that hip. He doesn't spend a lot of time on the ground, so he's not doing a whole lot of jumping off that block. There's a little bit of amortization happening here, but he is up quick. Now, he's also covering distance here. We talk a little bit about block foot and the application of this block to influence angles of takeoff. So T-Dub is taking off probably the equivalent of just inside uh, the free throw line. So this slightly later block, one, is going to help put the brake on, but two, because it's later, it's going to allow his center of mass to rotate a little bit further past this plant so that when he drives off, we're creating a little bit of an angled takeoff so that he can cover the appropriate distance. Now he still gets absolutely off this earth, out of this out, out of this world in terms of height, and hence why he's able to cruise to a bent arm finish. That is probably one of my favorite um, favorite dunk mixes of all time here. So that's that first. Let's just watch that again all the way through. Boom! You could even you can feel that block. Like let's take a look here. I want you to pay attention to the push punch portion push, punch, boom. Like it's aggressive. There's intent. If there's one thing that I loved about T-Dub is that every time he went to jump, he was trying to just obliterate the ground. He was trying to obliterate the rim. There was nothing passive about his efforts. They were just steeped with intent, which is what we talk about here um, at PPA all the time. Amazing. Let's keep watching and find another good one to break down. There's a great angle to take a look at. So, and let's get over the fact that like every single dunk he's going to do here is going to be absolutely ridiculous. So we're forward. We're creating some acceleration. There's our toe. So this is our our 
start of our penultimate, the first of three contact points as he pushes horizontally. So we're creating that nice aggressive push. Here you go, better look at the angle of torso, a much more upright torso like we talk about. The difference being here is the reason he's a little bit more upright than the last one is that we're taking off a lot closer to the net. So by if the goal is 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 peak verticality, peak height, it's important that we keep that torso a little taller so that on takeoff we don't have necessarily as much unraveling um, through for our hip extension as we would if we were uh, if we dove really far forward. Uh, typically, that will increase the amount of ground contact time and therefore result in longer time spent on the ground and a slightly um, shallower angle of takeoff. So there's our, our plant coming down, that right foot comes down and block. So take a look at his block. T-Dub is, is one of those jumpers with speed similar to, to the way I used to jump with an immense amount of speed that in, in order to transition this velocity, in order to transition all of this speed that we've gained, if he is not turning that block foot to create a larger surface area, on takeoff, he's just going to blow through that takeoff and end up flying in to the crowd. So really nice, solid application of block. You can see here as well that he's turned the plant foot and turned the block foot. So even though we have a turn stance, it's not putting excessive uh, stress on that left hip because he's opened up the right hip. So we have a little bit more of a parallel hip placement so hips open to toward us toward the screen so a really intuitive uh, way to plant that foot to make sure that uh, we're not increasing the chance of, of injury so we're up this is just a nasty pump and a really easy finish Ooh. Okay, I want to take a look at this dunk. This is the one I've been waiting for here. I like this. Actually, no, this is not the one. Let's watch this dunk through. It's the next one, I believe. Woo! Okay. The reason I want is that we have a nice angle here. We can kind of see what's really happening through this really crucial stride. So we're loading up. There's our toe off here. This is the first of three contacts for the last two strides. We have that big push. We have that nice, aggressive drive horizontal acceleration through the penultimate and you can see that right hip lower just slightly. We talk about the responsibility of the penultimate is twofold. One is to create or to uh, continue the acceleration through the approach and two is lower that right hip for takeoff and look at how sharp of an angle. Hips are open to the crowd uh, furthest away from us. So we get complete backside. So we have a two, we have a turn stance here. We have one two feet turn, which means a nice angle of action into that hip. We're we're leaning back, so he's trying not to let that center of mass rotate too far forward, or else he's going to blow um, this poor guy holding <laughs> holding the ball right over. Up nice and high, over top of his head. What I loved about T Dub is anytime he did a double up, which if you're wondering where the word double up came from. You're looking at him right now. So don't forget, he did never pushed. Ball was always fully extended, and we have a nasty finish. I could break down these jumps all day, but some of the, the crucial points that we need to pay attention to, the points of performance that T-Dub does inherently, very intuitively, that we, um, that I'm do, desperately trying to teach and, and, and educate on are one, aggressive push through the penultimate, a relatively tall torso leading into that plant foot, as well as um, a slight turn stance to optimize uh, the braking mechanism of our block foot as well as the power through our plant. So absolutely wonderful. Was a, was more of an honor really to take a look at these jumps here from t -Dub. I've been studying his jumps for a long time and when I when I was dunking he was definitely one that I did my best to to emulate but he's on a whole other planet and uh, you guys can do yourself a service by paying attention to how this man jumps. We'll catch you in the next one. 